Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking sleeping masks. Oh yeah. Now, you know, slugging is definitely a hot topic for the last couple of years, but in order to achieve this technique, which is really sealing in hydration and all your skincare layers, fighting dehydration and really, you know, enhancing your glow, this technique has been around for forever. You don't have to just use Vaseline in order to achieve it. There's a lot of different products that can help us with this method. Sleeping packs are really one of my favorite ways to achieve it. Not only do they offer a variety of textures for different skin types, for different seasons that might be a little bit more elegant and a little bit more pleasing to you than plain old Vaseline, right? But they also offer some other benefits too, beneficial ingredients, enhancing the glow, brightening the skin, uh, calming down irritation, right? There's so many varieties out there. It's been a while since I've done a sleeping mask video, a couple year. So I figured it would be a great time to update you on um, some of my faves. Uh, really, the old standards here are really what I'm loving. These are the sleeping masks that I've had on repeat for many, many years. I have a slightly newer one in here, but generally speaking, these products are tried and true in my experience, and I'm happy to recommend them. If you're so ready to jump into the video, give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> So first up, I want to talk about the ABIV Rice Probiotics Overnight Mask Barrier Jelly. Now, I think this is actually best for all skin types. It has a really pleasing texture, and it's particularly good if you're looking to achieve a lot of hydration on your skin. So this is one of my newer picks in the video. You may have caught it in my October Faves video, and this has quickly earned its place on my nightstand. This is something that as soon as I get into bed, I'm grabbing and slathering this all all over my face recently and I really really love this mask and it really is a compliment to my other favorites that are in rotation because it offers something a little bit different so let's jump into the ingredients first so rice is the star ingredient here for sure rice is such a superstar it's used a lot in k-beauty because it really has a couple of functions number one it actually helps to brighten up your skin um, it really kind of brings out your inner glow and kind of just even evens out like a dull complexion, but it also is a skin conditioning ingredient. So not only is it going to make your skin feel really silky soft on top, it has this really nice light moisturization property. We're not talking oil. We're not talking creamy or silky. Rice is just a kiss, you know, of, of just a little bit of moisture to the skin. It really helps balance things out without making things really greasy. It tends to work for a lot of different skin types. This is a very hydrating mask. We've got a, a heavy content of glycerin and diglycerin in here. And you can really see that in the texture. They call it a barrier jelly. And that's absolutely what this is. This is such a beautiful, refreshing kind of mask. Look at the texture. So beautiful and really different maybe than what you might have been expecting. This jelly has a, a bouncy type of texture. It spreads beautifully and it feels cooling, refreshing, um, very, very hydrating on first like application. You feel that rush in your skin. It feels so, so good, but it's not the type of gel that just disappears. You know, once it's absorbed, it's like, did I even put anything on in the first place? No, this has a heft to it. It's not heavy, it's not greasy, it's not overwhelming, but you can tell that the barrier jelly is creating that barrier on the skin that really helps to hug all your skincare layers and your hydration in place. It feels so good. It will make your skin feel really bouncy and plump. I will say this mask is a last layer, right? It does take a while to absorb and really dry on the skin, like a good 10 minutes. So I would definitely recommend that when you apply this, give yourself at least the 10 minutes, if not longer, before you lay your face down on your pillow. <laughs> Because you, if you don't and it's still kind of wet or tacky, it will definitely, your skin's just going to like stick. It's going to like peel off of your pillowcase. You know what I'm saying? So definitely give this some time. Once it's settled and set, I don't feel that stickiness or tackiness. It just takes a long time. So just be aware. But either than that, lots of hydration for the skin, really protective, fight, uh, fights dehydration, right? With that, that barrier jelly quality, but it doesn't feel like it's suffocating my skin. It doesn't feel too heavy. When I wake up in the morning, my skin just has this really nice glow to it. It's not like, whoa, glow. Oh my gosh, my skin's so bright. It's a subtle 
kind of effect you will start it will start to build the more you use this the more consistent you are with it but i noticed that my skin just always looks really healthy that's what i'm seeking for like i just want my skin to look good like on its own like healthy and glowy and even and this really helps me to achieve that next the i unique propolis vitamin sleeping mask now this is my recommendation if you have a more balanced skin type maybe combo and even dry skin types because this does offer a little bit more moisture and this is amazing if you want a sleeping mask that is going to to make your skin noticeably brighter and more glowy the morning after. This is the one for you. This is something that I have um, had on rotation for many, many years. I've been through a few bottles of this and every time, as I mentioned, reliably, I get that bright um, appearance to my skin the very next morning. It does feature one of my very favorite ingredients, which is propolis, which is really well known for giving the skin that healthy glow. It's a really amazing ingredient that has antibacterial properties and anti-inflammatory properties, great wound healing abilities. So it's actually a really great choice if you do suffer with acne um, because all of those properties are really great for helping to calm down and soothe breakouts. So it's really helpful just on that standpoint. But I found it to be really great for a sensitive skin too. It has this um, lightly moisturizing, a lot more than rice, honestly, um, but this lightly balancing moisturizing property to it that feels really good. As I mentioned, more combination and dry skin will really love that kiss of moisture that this brings to the skin and that glow that it brings out in the skin. And they've married that with another ingredient that kind of helps to gently brighten the skin, which is sea buckthorn extract. You may see it on the ingredients list as hippophayraminoids. And in K-Beauty, this is a K-Beauty product, uh, it is nicknamed a vitamin tree. So that's why we get propolis vitamin in the name of the sleeping mask. This is the vitamin, the seed buckthorn extract. And the reason it's nicknamed vitamin tree is because it actually, the seed buckthorn actually has a high content of a natural vitamin C in it. And that's where some of that brightening glowy property comes from. It's also an antioxidant and it also has its own skin nutrition, right? Profile to it, vitamins and minerals, um, polyphenols and things that really help to um, enhance and support the health of our skin. And truly the secret, right, to healthy, glowing skin is just that healthy skin. When your skin is healthy, right, when your microbiome is healthy, when your skin barrier is really strong, that's when your skin glows from the inside out. That's when we are resisting that dull looking skin, that uneven skin. I'm not necessarily talking about brightening, dark marks, or hyperpigmentation. That's its own beast, right? But when you really want your skin to just glow, and I notice that like the most compliments that I get on my skin is when my skin's just glowing. I can have lots of hyperpigmentation or pimples and breakouts and things, but what people really notice is that uh, all over even glow. When your skin looks healthy, you can't deny that it looks so good. And so these are the ingredients that really help bring that out um, and can really help enhance a sleeping mask like this one. As I mentioned, this has a more moisturizing feel to it. It's got a really interesting texture that's almost like a cream gel texture with only almost like a balmy after finish to it. Let me explain because um, definitely cream gel for sure. As you get it onto your skin, you're going to feel like a nice cooling, hydrating feel to this. But as you work it in more and it, it starts to deeply sink into your skin and absorb, you're going to feel that balancing moisture. It's uh, slightly silky, but it's not oily. It's not really, really rich. It's not really, really like buttery and emollient, but you will feel that balancing moisture to this. And then once it's um, actually fully absorbed, which I would say takes about mm, maybe three to five minutes, it's not as much as Avib for sure. That's when you start to feel that like, ooh, everything is just like locked into place, hugged in. You feel that occlusivity. And that's really, if you're suffering with dehydration, if you are waking up the next morning, if you haven't used a sleeping mask, it's especially, and your skin's just feeling like that tightness, like that dryness. Like even when you like move your face, it's like, ow, like everything feels really, um, really dry from the inside. I'm not talking flaky skin, although sleeping masks can help with that for sure. But I'm really talking about like your skin is thirsty from the inside. It's parched. It needs something. That's because you're losing your hydration through your skin as you're sleeping. It's very common at night because we spend a really long time in our bedrooms when we're sleeping, right? And the air can get really dry, especially 
especially in cold weather, uh, because heating really dries out the environment. But honestly, um, it happens a lot in, in highly air conditioned environments too. So don't think because you're in hot weather that um, you can't, your skin can't be uh, getting dried out from the air conditioning. It absolutely can. It's environmental based, right? So anyways, um, I find that that occlusivity is what seals everything in, right? It creates that temporary barrier on our skin that helps aid our true skin barrier and really helps hold the hydration in place. And that's what I really seek for in my, um, my sleeping mask products, because that's really the main use that I have for them. And this has that. But as I mentioned, the additional benefit when you wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror for the first time before you've even washed your face, you're like, hey, my skin's looking great. And I love that benefit with this mask. Next, let's talk the Purito Dermide Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack. Now this is gonna be best for combo and dry skin types, but where this really shines is if your skin is feeling really sensitive, irritated, weak, or you have a damaged skin barrier, that's really the focus of this product. And so it can be a really great way to add in some of that soothing, calming, skin strengthening into your routine through a sleeping mask. So this is a cult classic for a reason. Ever since this was released a few years ago, I've been kind of obsessed with it because for me, um, I've tried lots of different sleeping packs through my uh, like years of obsession with K-Beauty, right? But this was a little bit different. This really did something different than the other sleeping masks I had tried up to that point had done. And I think it really comes down to this like creamy lotion-like texture. And of course the ingredients, they're amazing for soothing irritated skin. So this is something that I pick up almost every winter I go like, oh yeah, I remember this one because that's when my skin is feeling a little bit more sensitized, a little bit more uh, prone to irritation. And my skin's a little bit more red, inflamed, and it's a lot more dry. And those are exactly the things that this mask helps to address. So first and foremost, the main star ingredient is centella, the Sika in the name, right? That not only have they used centella extract, which we know centella is an amazing soothing and calming ingredient, they're also using the ice isolated active compounds found in the centella plant, matacasicide, asiaticide, matacasic acid, and asiatic acid. These are the compounds found in the plant that are most responsible for centella's benefits on the skin, the soothing anti-inflammation benefits, the um, wound healing abilities, the skin regenerating properties. So it's really nice when you have the extract, it's a goodie, right? When you have the active compounds, it's like taking the very best part, isolating isolating it and really getting that most concentrated, heavy like benefit, right? And that's what we have here, centella extract and all four of those active compounds. They're serious about their centella in this. And then they've also married it with a hydrating ingredient, panthenol. This is so great for um, plump and juicy skin, but it also helps to support the lipid layer. That's basically your moisture barrier. So we've got that moisture barrier element in here. We also have ceramide NP. We know that that's amazing for strengthening the skin barrier. They've also added in squalane oil and jojoba oil. And these are really great oils because they're light on the skin, but they do offer a good amount of moisturization. So the texture, it's creamy and lotion-like. It's not a really thick, stiff, hefty, buttery kind of cream, but there is a silkiness to it. There's just the whisper of, of richness to it that feels amazing. Um, this spreads beautifully. Again, it's not a stiff cream. It's really silky and lotion-like, spreads amazing, um, absorbs very quickly. I find this one to be be less sticky than the first two that I talked about. When I say sticky, they're sticky until they've absorbed, right? This one I feel like absorbs really quickly because it acts more like your moisturizer than it does as more of like a gel type of consistency. Those gel ones can be kind of tricky with the dry times. The creams, it, this is just my skin, right? And how my skin accepts skincare. I find the creams just dry down a lot faster. So this absorbs beautifully. It really moisturizes the skin, comforts and soothes the skin. If you have irritated skin, you'll feel like, ah, this feels really good. It feels really soothing and healing um, for that irritation. I do recommend this for more drier skin types because it's that additional cream layer in your routine that can just add that little extra moisture that will really help. And I do recommend layering this on top of your moisturizer. If you have oily skin though, and all that centella and the soothing and the barrier repair sound really good to you. Again, I want to tell you, replace your moisturizer. Try it out because this has more lotion-like feel to it. It's not a heavy cream. I can't 
can see it working for some oily types. I can see this for uh, normal balanced skin types. Replace your moisturizer with this. You'll love it. Um, if you need that extra soothing in your skincare routine, you don't need to pile on the layers with those skin types, but it's all about how your skin accepts layers, how it accepts, um, you know, multiple types of skincare products. But just know that there's no specific rule on how you're using this. I know some people just use this as a moisturizer morning and night, you know, because it just has that perfect texture for them. Next, I want to talk about CeraVe Healing Ointment. Now, this is going to be my recommendation if you do really dry skin. If you're suffering with a lot of dehydration, this could also be appropriate for combination skin. And really, the quality that this brings is just straight up occlusion. <laughs> you know, if you are really suffering with dehydration, your skin barrier is weak and you need a thick, temporary barrier on top of your skin to stop that dehydration process, this is the way to go. Because the star ingredient here is petrolatum. In CeraVe, they're using, I believe, 46% of petrolatum. And this is the best known occlusive ingredient out there, especially in this amount, right? Sometimes you'll see it peppered into moisturizers and they won't say what amount it is, but we know it's going to not be 46%, right? Um, because it does have this thicker quality to it that really creates that barrier, that temporary barrier on top of the skin that not only helps to keep hydration in place, but it actually also can function as a barrier to help protect our skin um, from outside um, aggression, if you will. And what I'm thinking when I say that, and this is something that I like to use in the winter time when I'm outside shoveling, where I live in Wisconsin, we get lots of snow, although it's been different <laughs> in the last couple of years for sure, but we do still get lots of snow, lots of ice, lots of wind. It's very, very very cold and the wind whips at your face and it feels terrible. It's like, ow, why are you like slapping me in the face, wind? Something like this really helps to guard against that like wind rash and that irritation that you can get from cold weather. So it actually works two ways, which can be very, very helpful. And there's actually a nice mix of um, ceramides in here as well. We've got um, a kiss of humectant from Panthenol, and then there's some additional emollients in here. And that's what I really like about this formula is that it's not just the petrolatum. There's a couple of other skin beneficial ingredients in here in the humectants, the emollients, the skin conditioning ingredients. It's not the most elegant texture, right? The petrolatum is very thick. It's a, it's an ointment. It's called a healing ointment. That's exactly what it's like. It's like putting a thick ointment layer on your skin. Not everybody is going to enjoy that. Um, I do find the CeraVe to be one of the better ones because I feel like this texture, because of the additional humectants and emollients, I find that this on me personally, I feel like it half absorbs into my skin, which is good. I kind of want it. I don't want that thick layer on top of my skin. And it's like all up in my hair and all up on my pillow pillowcases and my blanket and stuff, right? It kind of half absorbs into my skin and then it kind of half sits on top of my skin. And I kind of like that. Vaseline, I feel like just like purely sits on top of my skin. Um, and I don't love that. Aquaphor has a similar sensation, but I find it slightly uh, thicker than the CeraVe healing ointment. So for a full face application, this is just me. I kind of like this one um, out of the three the best. Um, but really the star ingredient here, right? It's the patrolatum. So I also wanted to mention another way that I personally use this not in the winter time and not as a full face application. I am prone to dryness right underneath my eyes. It's been getting worse over the years. And I do sleep with a silk um, eye mask to block out all the light. And I do feel like that kind of, even though silk is probably the best to put up against your skin. I do still feel like that material does absorb a little bit of my skincare and can kind of dry that area out. I like to put a thin layer of this just around my eyes to resist that kind of creepiness that comes with the dry skin underneath the eyes, right? This really helps smooth everything out, really seal in the rest of my skincare. Um, you can spot treat with this. You know, you don't have to feel like it's all, all face or all nothing, right? You can put it just underneath your eyes. You can put it around dry areas like my chin area can get kind of dry around my nose, can get kind of sore and raw. So I hope you enjoyed those picks. I know they're mostly oldies, but they're goodies. Once I find something that works, I stick with it. I'm curious to know, do you have a favorite sleeping mask or slugging product that you just stick with time and time again? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video helps you out and you haven't hit subscribe yet, before you go, hey, take a minute. I would be so honored if you would hit subscribe and come join our community, especially if you love K-beauty products, especially if you love gentle skincare products. That's really what I talk about here on my 
my channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop when I post the new full length videos, when I post new shorts, and when I post my video podcasts about skincare as well. I'm very active here on YouTube, so turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. And thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.